Published 1738 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 16th of April 2018. Updated 1839 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 16th of April 2018. Was there ever a golfer with a name more suited to his profession than PGA Tour rookie Sam Ryder? Shouldn't you be getting an honorary wild card to play in Paris in September? Said his fellow. Pro James Driscoll, smiling, the Ryder Cup is named after you. As you can imagine, Ryder gets asked rather a lot whether he's related to a certain St Albans seed merchant who donated the famous gold trophy for competition between the US and Britain and Ireland in 1927. PGA Tour rookie Sam Ryder didn't play in any competitive tournaments until he was 16. You're the first to ask today, though, but, the 28-year-old from Orlando said cheerfully, when we met at the Houston Open recently. For the record, he's just the latest Samuel Ryder in a Florida-based family full of them, but none are related to the Samuel Ryder. There's every hope, though, that he will continue to progress and fulfill his destiny one day. Given he didn't play in any competitive tournaments until he was 16, he was more interested in the beach basketball and baseball growing up, it's hardly surprising that all athletic Ryder is a relative latecomer to the PGA Tour. His is a classic story of progressing through the mini tours with barely two cents to rub together, then onto the PGA Tour Canada before progressing to the Web.com tour that sits one level below paradise. A victory on that circuit last year, leading to an eighth place finish overall, meant the promotion he always dreamed about. His is a classic story of progressing through mini tours with barely two cents to rub together. It was in Houston that Ryder showed signs he's already finding his feet at the highest level. He led after the first round, eventually finishing a hugely creditable fifth to give the winner Ian Poulter some competition when it came to the broadest smile in the clubhouse. His winnings from his first three months add up to just shy of $400,000, as for the Ryder Cup, he wasn't really aware of it growing up. I was 16 playing in one of my first junior events when an official said to me, you have to make it as a pro given you've got such a great name, said Ryder. Now, of course, I get asked about it all the time and particularly in a Ryder Cup year, I want to play in it, 100%. Every American golfer I know dreams about playing in it. I have a lot of passion for it and how cool would it be to see a Sam Ryder taking part one day, it might have taken him a while but he's got the idea now, when I made the decision to come straight from Augusta, it wasn't to just show up and walk around. I wanted to win, but this was the hardest Sunday I've ever had because the crowd wanted it so much and I wanted it so much. I've been national champion in Spain from 16 to all ages and now to bind my amateur and pro career together in this way and win the last one I had to win. I feel truly blessed. The Americans are chirping at holding all four majors, with their champions all aged between 24 and 27, but as 23-year-old John Ram demonstrated with his Spanish Open win on Sunday, it wouldn't surprise anyone this summer if he took one off them. He's got anger management issues, but that fire in his belly is also the reason why it's only a matter of time before he gives his home crowd something else they want so much, another Grand Slam champion. John Ram of Spain celebrates with winner's trophy after the final round of the Open de Espana B now. The disappointment of not closing the deal in Hilton Head on Sunday will have surely worn off for a plainly exhausted Ian Poulter, and he will be reflecting with considerable pride on the six-week road trip of a lifetime. Never mind that he didn't pull off what would have been a barely credible second PGA Tour stroke play victory in three weeks, after waiting 228 events for his first. When he began his sequence of six straight tournaments, he was irritated with his form this season, barely on anyone's radar for the Ryder Cup and with no status to play in any of the majors or other elite field events over the summer. Now look at him. He has a shiny trophy with his name on it, another appearance at the Masters to add to the collection, three more majors to play in, a two-year PGA Tour exemption, a bank balance swelled to the tune of £1.4 million and, oh, does anyone seriously think he won't get a wild card to play in Paris in September? At the very least, he's currently leading against a certain American when it comes to the most spectacular comeback by a 42-year-old golfer this year. Ian Poulter will be reflecting with considerable pride on the six-week road trip of a lifetime.